Hi, my name is Mike. I'm from the band Naked Underneath, and we're going to talk about capos in this clip. Now, previously we talked about the G chord and the D chord, and what all the strings are open. Um, just to review again, um, this is what our G chord looked like. This is what our D chord looked like. Now, this is the capo. All right, you know, essentially what this is is an extra finger for you. So, if we want to put the capo onto the guitar, what happens is that we've essentially shortened the guitar, so now we're a whole step up from where we were initially, and we're just going to pretend that this is the back of the guitar, and we can structure all our chords the exact same way that we did before. So, to be sure that you're positioning this right, is the same way that your finger would have been positioned previously, is to butt it up right up against the, the fret, um, just a little bit behind, uh, you don't want to be on top again, uh, you know, it'll buzz. Uh, and if you go too far back, then it may not be holding them down correctly. Um, but essentially, this is a really fun way to, uh, to make one chord sound like a million different chords and keep yourself entertained while you're learning the guitar.